Cinema in Minutes. In today's video, we will be going through a war film entitled Johnny Mad Dog. There will be spoilers ahead, chill out and enjoy. The movie begins with Mad Dog ordering his group around as they raid a house. Everyone inside is rounded up, beaten up as well as insulted when they argue. All of the teenagers are holding rifles. They steal a television and demand food. Someone shouts that they're fighting a war and are hungry. The occupants of the house are now being pushed outside and the men are separated from the women. They ask the men to take their shirts off as well as the whereabouts of their weapons to which they insist that they have none. They harass an old man next and presses him to hand over his money. They question them about money, kids, and government soldiers, and the men insist that they know nothing and are hiding nothing. Annoyed, one of the boys shoot a crying old man after telling him numerous times that he hates a cry baby. A kid is dragged outside. They ask one of the men who he is and he admits he is his son. Never die goads him for hiding the boy. The father claimed that his son isn't a fighter but rather just a student. All of the boys maintain that he's a fighter and will fight the war. They hand him a rifle and order him to kill his father or he dies. With no choice, the boy shoots. The group celebrates as a new member joins them. The group of child soldiers led by Never Die starts chanting and hyping each other up before Never Die informs them that they'll be capturing a TV station that day. He calls for Mad Dog, scratches a tiny wound on his temple, and rubs what seems to be a white powder on it. He educates him that the drug will jack him up before urging everyone to yell their war cry to which everyone energetically shouts. They head for the TV station and fire off a rocket-powered grenade to it. The group of child soldiers attacks and storm the building. The people in the building run in fear and some of them are gunned down by the group. Mad Dog and No Good Advice corner a woman. Mad Dog orders her to hand over her bag which he asks No Good Advice to hold. He recognizes the woman as the news anchor Tanya Toyo who talks about them, calls them rebels and killers. He keeps eyeing her up and down and calls her fine. No Good Advice tells him to just kill her. She gives him a look so he pushes her back and demands her to lead them to the government money. Never Die orders Mad Dog to prepare for tomorrow as they'll be attacking the city next. He addresses the rest of the group and congratulates them for capturing the TV station. He claims that they need to liberate the people. The plan is to attack the city, chase the doggos out, put fire to the city then get the president out of power. He advises the group to make sure to stay alive since the success of the mission rest in their lives. Mad Dog confronts a girl who's selling meats and vegetables. He introduces himself before asking her for her name. He says that she's a dogo girl but for that day she'll join his unit. No good advice asks him what for but he quiets him down. That night, they prepare for the attack. They bathe with water and leaves while the rest chant and dance in front of a roaring fire. A chicken is sacrificed and its blood is used to mark the new recruits' bodies. Never Die convinces the kids to open their hearts to the revolution and promises that they'll get their benefits after. Small devil hands Never Die a rifle with hollow bullets. He shoots it at their new recruits so that they'll believe they're bulletproof. He instructs them not to retreat and to shoot back if shot at. The next morning, the group is getting high as they wait for the signal to start their assault. Never Die comes in and calls for Mad Dog notifying him that they'll be heading for the embassy. They're expected to secure the area and wait for him there. An explosion is set off and everyone starts running down the bridge. They start their attack. Leah Cole hears the commotion and runs to her dad, telling him that she's scared. But he can't do anything and just stares at her. We see that he's missing his legs. She goes and hides all their valuables instead. Soldiers from the other side of the bridge return their shots and one of the boys starts retreating but Never Die comes across him. He asks the boy what he's doing and he starts begging so Never Die shoots him instead and takes his rifle. Leah Cole's father warns her not to be foolish and to go with her sister. She assures him that she'll take care of him and that he needs to come with her. She orders Fofo to get a wheelbarrow but her father refuses. He explains that he's not forsaking them and forces them to leave despite Leah Cole's complaint. He pushes them out the door and locks it behind them. The child soldiers finally reach the city after stealing a pickup truck. They stop when they come across a man with a pig on his shoulders. No good advice chases the man and asks him where he's taking the pig. The man replies that he's taking it across the bridge. No good advice tells him that they're a fighter and he's just a looter. He orders the man to put the pig down. While walking down the streets, Leia Cole and Fofo hide as they hear gunshots coming from the pickup truck that carries Mad Dog and his group. They get off the pickup truck and search the streets. They find an Uzi with 20 mags left in it. Mad Dog warns them to be careful as Israelis or Chuck Norris might be around before handing the gun back to Butterfly who found it. They find a boy carrying a bucket. They ask him what the password is but he doesn't know. They ask what's inside the bucket. He answers bananas but when they kick it over it's filled with oranges. While stripping him of his clothes, no good advice points out a mark that supposedly means the boy is a government fighter. Small Devil checks his finger next and states that it looks to be of a fighter. They start berating him for more information and no good advice insists that the boy is part of the government troop as he has seen him before. After trying him up with his shirt, they force him to run then Mad Dog guns him down. As Leia Cole and Fofo hide at a stairwell, Mad Dog finds them. They stare at each other. 
No good advice calls for Mad Dog since they're waiting for him. He leaves Leia Cole and Fofo without a word. Leia Cole asks Fofo to hide inside a metal drum and she'll go back to get their father. When she reaches their house again, Leia Cole finds their father's injured body. She puts him on a wheelbarrow and heads back to Fofo but the boy's gone. She looks for him in a panic, calling his name. Abandoning their pickup truck, the group's walking down the street now. Out of nowhere, Chicken Hair is hit in the eye which scrambles everyone to hide. Butterfly yells for everyone to move off the road. One of their new recruit who's still holding a fake rifle continues to walk despite Butterfly's warning. He gets hit as well. No good advice informs Mad Dog that he saw smoke in the building which means there's a sniper. The group heads for the building to take him out. No good advice finds him and kills him. The group heads for the emergency hospital which is being guarded by UN soldiers. They are told to back off and that they can't bring their weapons. The UN soldiers clarifies that no one's stopping them from entering but insists that no weapons are allowed inside because it's a hospital. Leia Cole is successful in bringing her father to the hospital. The doctor asks her what happened and she explains that he was hit by a bullet. He should be good now and the doctor instructs her to take good care of him. Mad Dog and his group get into an argument. They want to know why they stepped back when it was only UN soldiers guarding the emergency hospital. He tells them to shut up and that they'll wait for Never Die to contact them again. Mad Dog tells no good advice to kill his pig but he refuses, saying he's not ready yet. Mad Dog asserts that the group's hungry now so the pig should be killed but no good advice is firm that they're not gonna kill it yet. Angry and hungry, Mad Dog kills the pig and orders young Major and Nasty to clean it. That evening, Mad Dog asks Fatmata what her name is but she refuses to answer so he tells her that he'll refer to her as Lovelita instead. He hands her a rifle and asks her to try firing it which she does. He explains his necklaces. He believes that they're the reason why he's still alive as they make him bulletproof. She asks him how long he's been fighting the war and he replies that he was only 10 when he was recruited. He can't remember his real name, where he came from, or who his family is. He tells Kat to hand his wedding dress to Fatmata. The boys attack the emergency hospital to get chicken hair the next day and Leia Cole seeks help to get her father out safely. She finds a man with a card and bargains with him but the man refuses since her money isn't enough. Leia Cole's father dies while they're escaping. They bring him to the cemetery and she buries him alone. Mad Dog and his group hassle a well-off couple. They steal their jewelry and money. Mad Dog asks the couple questions and the woman finally answers him. He gets angry when she explains that she's a high school teacher. He badgers her that she's a Dogo woman but her husband discloses that she's from their tribe and he's the Dogo. The rebels celebrate that night. Fabita catches Mad Dog trying to sleep with another girl. She threatens the other girl and chases her with a rifle. A man outside shoots her asking out loud who she thinks she was. The next day, Mad Dog finds out that Never Die is no longer a general but rather a corporal part of the regular army of the newly established government. He asks since there's no more war, what is expected of them? Never Die tells him that pretty soon they'll have to give up their weapons since they no longer want children carrying them. They have to find something else to do. He demands their money but Never Die mentions that there's no money. The children fought the war and looted. They served themselves so there's no money for them. Mad Dog argues that the president owes them. Never Die tells him that he's a civilian now. He dismisses him and Mad Dog leaves. Leia Cole approaches a Red Cross volunteer looking for Fofo but the man replies he doesn't know anyone with that name. A little girl walks up to her and introduces herself as Mayama. She takes the little girl instead and bathes her. She runs across Mad Dog and calls him a killer. He goes to her and asks her where she knows him from. She doesn't answer and in the midst of all the commotion walks away. Bothered, Mad Dog follows her. He forces her and Mayama away to his room. She asks him why he brought her to his room and he replies that anything he wants to do, he can. He asks her if Mayama is her daughter then for her name and her family but she remains quiet. They get into an argument with Leia Cole asking him if he killed her brother since she saw him kill a boy for oranges. Mad Dog denies this and defends himself that the boy tried to kill them first. He takes off one of his necklaces and puts it on Leia Cole. He smiles and asks her if she likes it because it looks good on her. Leia Cole takes it off and tells him that she doesn't need his gift. He's about to leave when he throws a Bible on her feet and tells her to take it. She asks him if he can't read. He tells her that he knows she goes to church and is a virgin unlike him who can have anyone he wants. She comments that assaulting someone isn't the same as loving. He walks far too close to her and attempts to kiss her. Leia Cole pushes him away and beats him up with his own rifle. The movie ends with tears streaming down Leia Cole face as she points the rifle at Mad Dog's head. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more videos like this and to help the channel grow.